All right, so am I the problem? Um, I was scrolling on Twitter. Twitter is a scary place. I really <laughs> don't you love it though? It's like it's like I like to be a spectator. Like I don't want to. Like I don't. I feel like I don't want to engage too much. You don't have to. Yeah, I, I like the spectatorness of it, but I don't. I definitely Twitter don't. Twitter got the best videos. It they got everything it from porn to fights to like happy endings yeah, to everything. everything. Yeah. It's it's a nice. Yeah. I just scroll. I, I read not rather, but scrolling on the TikTok video, not TikTok. Scrolling on the Twitter videos is just as good as TikTok. That's fair, cause I've gotten lost in the sauce. Yeah, the but speaking of getting lost in the sauce, so uh, a, a clip of Beyonce giving Jay Z a birthday toast. Oh, appeared. Okay, and so. She was holding her wine. She probably had a few glasses. I know what you're talking about. And she was like, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me. And words can't express the gratitude of everything you've done for me and everyone inside of this room. And uh, you taught me how to be a friend. And you taught me how to be a woman. And da 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 da. And the comments was like, her saying that he taught her how to be a woman is wild as fuck. And it's like all these like, comes to how she's basically the problem for saying that. Mm -hmm. Am I the problem? Because I get it. I get you know, what she's trying to say. I feel like a woman got to teach a man how to be a man. Like, just because you have a dick don't make you a man. Correct. And I feel like the idea that only a woman can teach a woman how to be a woman, like, yeah, true, but then you have some situations where just some girls just don't have it in them, like, to be... Yeah. But I also think... Or, yeah, but I also think, like, maybe it's what is your definition of being a woman, too. Right. But I think that, you know, I think we live in this age of where, like, it's women against men and, like, low-key women hate men and vice versa. But it's, like, if we're looking at a situation like Beyonce and Jay-Z, she met him when she was 20. They've been together. Yeah, she was, like... Before then, look, yeah. let's just start at 20 so that we don't and get he, trouble. he groomed her. That's why he, he's, like, fucking 13 years older than her. So, Ooh, it's right, definitely, yeah. he taught her how to be a woman because he literally groomed her. All right, so let's not talk about Jay-Z and Beyonce then because mm -hmm. then that's kind of manipulative and that mm -hmm. kind of changes the narrative. But let's say you have been in a relationship with somebody for a significant amount of time. It's like, even if they're not holding your hand and being like, this is what a woman does, da 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 Right. If that's somebody who is truly good for you, they're going to bring out certain qualities in you or they're going to bring out the desire for you to do certain Even certain if they're things. not good for you, different shit bring out different yeah, shit. Yeah, that's true. Because, um, like, you could be a terrible person, but you teach somebody else how to be stronger and how not to depend on you and how to put their self first. So you can still bring out the good in somebody and be shit. That's true. That's true. I think I just don't. I just want people to be open to the idea of being in relation with somebody to where you can learn from them or that you guys can grow together. We've talked about this before. I think everything is a very like um, a very fast food type pace type of things when it comes to interacting with other people. It's like mm -hmm. as like as soon as soon as it doesn't feel good anymore, I'm I'm out. 